how you set something in motion is usually how it will continue. So the first thing that I like to do once somebody gets started is I help them recognize as to why it is that they're doing what it is that they're doing. Not just inside of this business, but the overall picture, the grand scheme of things. You see, the why is one of the most cliche things that are talked about inside of this industry and outside of this industry. People are always talking about your why will help, your why, your why, your why, but what is the importance of a why? You see, I like to break the why into an acronym. Your why will help you. Your why is going to help you get over the tough times in life. Your why is going to help you get through the stagnancy inside of your business. Your why is actually going to help you enjoy the higher times that much more. Your why is the driving foundation behind why it is that you do what it is that you do. You see, everyone understands what it is that they do. Some even know how to explain how it is to do so. But the why is what sets you, sets I, sets us apart from everyone else inside of this industry. Why do you do what it is that you do? You see, the why is what's truly going to help you find fulfillment inside of this entire journey. And this is a journey. This isn't something that is going to happen overnight. This isn't something that is going to magically appear. As a matter of fact, it's going to take you years, some of us years, but the why kept me grounded. The why kept me focused. The why kept me consistent. What is it that drives you? Step number two, once we've established the why, obviously each and every single one of us, we're joining this because we want to fulfill certain goals inside of our lives. What kind of goal is it that you're looking to fulfill? You see, the vast majority of us, myself included, actually go out there and fail every time we go to accomplish a goal. As a matter of fact, nine out of 10 goals that I accomplish or nine out of 10 goals that I set out to accomplish, I don't accomplish in the time frame in which I decided to. And the reality of the situation is the reason that we're not able to accomplish these goals is because we weren't taught how to properly set these goals. It's not something that we talked about at the dinner table. It's not something that we were taught in school. It's not something that we studied. You see, how to properly set up these goals is absolutely everything. But understanding first and foremost, what type of goals there are. You see, I really believe that there's two types of goals. You have your fulfillment based goals and you have your monetary based goals. And within those, you have subcategories, your short term goals and your long term goals. Let's talk about fulfillment based goals really quick. Fulfillment based goals have everything to do with others. It's not about what it is that you can do for yourself. It's about what helps you feel alive. It's about what helps you feel good about what it is that you're doing. It's about what helps you help others. And you see, fulfillment based goals are my favorite goals because it's so hard to quantify those types of goals. However, you see the impact when you take a step back, right? The second type of goal is your monetary based goals. Each and every single one of us, a lot of us are joining this business because we need more money. Some of us even have goals and aspirations for different things in life. Whatever the case may be, we have these monetary goals, whether it's a dollar amount, whether it's a rank that we want to accomplish. Whatever the case may be, there's monetary base and there's fulfillment base. Now you have your short term goals and you have your long term goals. And you see short term and long term depends on where it is that you are inside of your journey and where it is that you're at inside of your career, right? For me, a short term goal used to be seven days and then it went to 30 days. Now a short term goal for me is 90 days, right? Short term goal, the purpose of a short term goal, regardless of the duration of the goal itself, is to help you track progression. Progression is the one thing that each and every single one of us are after. We're not after perfection because it's progression over perfection each and every single time. But progress, man, you know exactly what it is that progress does. Progress keeps us going. You step on that scale, you lose two, three, five pounds, you're starting to see yourself a little bit differently. You start to log into that bank account and you see the numbers going up, you're starting to feel a little bit differently. You log into that back office and you see the volume going up. You're starting to view your team a little bit differently. You're starting to think about the skill set a little bit differently. Each and every single one of us, we track progression. 
That's the purpose of a short-term goal. So maybe it's helping somebody go to and free within their first week. Maybe it's helping somebody access the products within their first 24 hours. Maybe it's helping somebody go platinum 600 within their first 30 days. Whatever the case may be, we have to do something in order to track the progression of their journey. Second is your long-term goals. Now, long-term goals are super important as well because that's what helps us really dedicate ourselves. That's what helps us establish depth of vision, right? Those long-term goals are what's going to keep us plugged in. I had long-term goals. Now my long-term goals are 12 months, 24 months before they used to be 90 days, maybe six months. I'm always thinking about the future and what it is that I wish to see. If you have no direction, you have nowhere to lead people. I'm going to say that one more time. If you have no direction, you have nowhere to lead people. So maybe that long-term goal is going chairman or going P1000. Maybe that long-term goal is being able to withdraw X amount from your trading accounts. Or maybe that long-term goal is being able to visit X amount of countries during a specific amount of time. Whatever the case is, you have your long-term goals and you have your short-term goals. Step number three, once you've established why it is that we do what it is that we do, you've helped them establish what the core foundation is, then you help them establish what their goals are, whether it be monetary or fulfillment based, short term and long term. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to begin to create the list. Now, the list is so intimidating. Right? Because I remember when I first got introduced to this industry, I was launched the wrong way. Remember? So somebody sat me down and said, write a hundred names on a paper. There's no way I know a hundred names. I have about that many people inside of my contact list at the time. I have maybe that many people on social media. You, you want me to write a list of 100 people? I don't believe that that's the right way to do things. You understand that this business is not for everyone, but it is for someone. You see, I'd rather partner with the people who believe in what it is that I believe, that have the same morals, the same ethos, the same ethics, and the same desires from a fulfillment-based perspective. 